What is going down, AMD family? And we're back at it. And it's August, and a brand new patch note is among us. The driver 21.8.1 is now here and live. We're going to take a look at the benchmark sized up with 3D Mark on top of what has changed inside of their notes. My name is Matt here at the MacGyver 7 channel. If you're brand new, hit the subscription button and accompany it with a notification bell. And let's go ahead and scroll into the news. Now, as both of the companies launch from NVIDIA to AMD and new cards, we get a 66 XT graphics on top of what's looking at with their counterpart of the RTX series with the uh, NVIDIA family with a small little one. It's actually kind of neat. I was covering that in the patch notes. And if you have an NVIDIA card, definitely take a look at the other patch notes that I have for the new 4... 71.68 it's actually very interesting to see which one you should pick between the last optional and this one but moving on to just amd and what is fixed is that with this driver which is our brand new 21.8.1 the the medium the crashes after launching the game while running the frame view and that definitely has seemed like a very interesting game very interested to see what happens when it touches down in certain consoles um, known issues for as far as what they are uh, out there. There is some stuff for as far as upgrading the latest Radeon instead of the graphics freezing for the mastering stop workaround is to update the Ryzen master. Now, uh, I thought they had fixed this a long time ago, but it could just be an implement between a new card and the direction that happens to be uh, new code clashing with old code. But as you can see, while playing inside of control in DirectX 12, uh, users may observe some of the uh, corrupt lighting on the ray trace for what you can see in the 66 XT. Now, moving on past for as far as the driver timeouts, you can see some stuff with the game and streaming for these portions of the 500 series. And utilizing in the 6800 XT, sometimes you're going to experience some recording sessions in the OBS software hiccuping with the H265 EVIC inside of there. So you also will see some unresponsiveness in DirectX 11 and PUBG for multiple screens and the connection. Playing Horizon Zero Dawn also comes down to some extended periods where you can lead some drivers in the timeout and the gaming crash with the 6700 XT series. The enhanced sync that may have some of the uh, black screens to occur when enabling some of the games, the system configuration, any users who may be experiencing issues with the enhanced sync enable. Uh, should disable its temporary workaround is just you know get out of that synchronization for a split second and connecting to display screens so you can see that there's like a ton of stuff within the Vega series that is still out there on top of just like this list already being kind of just a little bit um, I guess week to week not really changing that much as we can see the last one is the the performance inside of the metrics logging an intermediate experience of high clocking inside the memory which is always something that has crossed now on top of that the amd link it's not changed for as far as the gray frame corruption that they've had with the hevic um, and you can always use the abc as a workaround so let's go ahead and take a look as far as what we have with some physical benchmarks since we have knocked out the good portion of what has changed in the week to week or what is still at large. Now, when we can look at the very right is going to be the new driver 21.8.1 and on the left is the 21.7.2. Uh, so the second installment throughout July versus the first installment of August. And you can definitely see that there's a reduction. This is a brand new Windows ecosystem and it seems like it's favoring the older drivers, even with NVIDIA. I noticed that it favored it a lot. So we might see a circumvent or a framework update. They might be looking for with the Windows to update and performance could come into gameplay. And depending on if you have an NVIDIA, you can toggle off and on your hardware accelerator in order to, you know, accompany some performance. But there was also a really cool article 
that I noticed that someone had figured a workaround with FSR with all games, and it's just like some mod, and, and I don't know where you can just like play it. It's like a, a DLSS implement for all gaming. It's it's really cool how like yeah, this AMD technology is taking off, and I'm really excited to see what changes in the near future. But as we get to DirectX 12 and 4K, let's go ahead and go to a 1080p. So we can see that again the old driver just beats it by a tiny bit and this is going to see in the trending portions of 1080p for as far as the DirectX 11. As the bread and butter still comes in a little bit ahead for as far as the older driver. When taking a closer look at what we can see with the 1080p inside of the extreme within DirectX 11, it's the same continuation. But when you look at the closer, like, I guess, balance of what's going on with the graphics, it's merely where you can see that the physics comes into a little bit more of an accelerated rate on the newer driver, which can be nice, um, but the, you're not seeing as much combined compared to the graphics score that we want to see. And the final score, uh, which is our 4K within that same department, you can see that it is mopped up really well with the combined portion of the last driver. So, should you install this? Well, if there are some things that you bought that are new, if it happened to fix one of those issues that happens to be with the medium game, then yeah. But for a lot of people, this may not be the driver for you. But if you've installed it and you've noticed some pretty cool gameplay, then awesome. But it definitely seems like it's a driver. The last two have not been really well worked out with Windows and the way that they've launched it. Now, again, I definitely encourage when you see a Windows update, especially with framework or a next portion of Circumvent, install it too, because I've noticed towards the tail end of a lot of these drivers, they pick up pace and they actually look a little bit more cleaner. Um, it's kind of weird how it works that way, but then subscribe to find out what tomorrow will happen and I'll make an update about it for as far as what's going to happen next. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And if you subscribe, it's absolutely free. It helps me out as a creator and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future.